In today's presentation, we're going to look at the fist striking in Master Golding's Huan Ping Tai Chi. Many people in the Tai Chi community consider striking with the fist more external, and they consider Tai Chi more grappling and pushing and like Tui Shou um, throws. But in the Guan Ping uh, Tai Chi form, there's 13 strikes, fist strikes. And we're going to go over each of them. First, I'm going to present where they are in the form, and then we'll take a look at each of the strikes in detail. The first fist strike that we're going to look at uh, comes right out of uh, Breast Knee Footstep right at the very beginning. So, uh, in the presentation, I'm going to do the um, move as it comes out of the direction that it is in the form as if I were starting the form from this way. And then I'll present a different angle so you can see the move uh, more specifically. So in brush knee twist step, the first one comes from here and it comes on the brush knee twist step, deflect on the left side, and then you rock back, curry and punch, and punch. So again, And in the front view. And then the opposite side. Pull back, carry, down, punch. So a little bit of the uh, detail is the way that I'm generating the force of the punch. You can see it better from the frontal angle. From the brush knee twist step, as I rock back and do the peri, this fist comes around in a kind of a figure eight and generating the force. So the second one, comes out of Carry Tiger the Mountain and it goes from right here and it's like a period punch. Although in the uh, brush knee twist step, the peri happens this way as the punch is going forward. And this one from Carry Tiger the Mountain the hands are circling and they circle right into the punch. One more time. I'll do it this way. In this direction. The third punch in the Guan Ping form comes right after wind blowing lotus leaf and it's called finger block up with fist. So it looks like this. From wind blowing lotus leaf. Right here. Finger block up with punch. So again, it comes from this position after you've completed wind blowing lotus leaf. Left hand comes up for a block as the right comes down for a low diagonal punch. One thing to note is that from this blocking position here, as I'm doing the sweep, I'm coming in through the center. Again, that's a, a basic Kung Fu principle. Instead of coming from this position to the punch, coming in 
because it can generate, you want your phone alignment for that punch. So again, from the frontal view, after wind blowing low and sweep, the sweep from here, like that. Wind blowing low sweep, complete the sweep from here. Punch. From this angle, wind blowing low to sweep, finger block up with fist. The next one comes after the double jump kick. That one is similar to the other Syrian punch. Then after you step back, kick, turn, kick up with the right, step, another period punch. So it looks like this from this view. The kick. Then you notice how I'm using the turn of my body for precipitating the punch. That's a, a technique that I use both in the brush knee and carry a punch and after those two kicks because I'm turning into the horse and then come turning from the waist for the punch coming forward. The sixth one is chop opponent with this. It comes after here, turn, technically while not a strike, it's called chop opponent with this, so I'm including it in this uh, presentation. So again, from coming back, press, turn, step up. So the chop opponent fits this, this motion here. The next uh, fist we're looking at is in Politician of the Wild Horse's Mane. And after diagonal whip, here, so in another video I talked about how people show that this coming back was a fist here 
people think of this as like a striking with a forearm, but as you're doing this uh, step forward, this fist, the circular motion here ends up being a, a fist strike down low. Like that. So there's a fist there. So after you do partition the wild horse's mane and do a diagonal whip, when you get into fair baby work the shadows, it has a fist strike at the end. So in fairly to work the shadows, you sweep, block, and punch. And again, the power is generated from turning of the waist. The ninth fist strike that we're going to look at comes towards the end of the set and it comes after fan the last second fan through arm here do the block and then push forward and right here strike opponent's ears with this so again the sequence is fan through arm ward off push strike and then the next one, two sky cannon. So we have uh, two fist striking in a row here. Fan to arm, ward off, push forward, strike opponent with ears, two sky cannon. Looking from this direction, stand to arm, ward off, push, strike opponent with ears, and through sky cannon. Towards the end of the form, we have a high pattern horse crossing the water lily wave, and then downward fist. Single whip, high pattern horse, step out diagonally, crossing the water lily wave. So it's an upward block, downward strike. We do it from this angle here. It's like the crossing the water lily kick. And then force is generated as I sink down, punching down. The 12th this strike is at the end of the form and it comes after the single whip, drop down, step up, form seven stars.
in single whip, drop down low, step up, perform seven stars. From this angle, single whip, drop down, and again the way I like to do it is from the single whip, as I drop down, I like to get the force diagonally coming up into the punch, rather than Dropping down, coming up, then dropping down. Because I like to generate the force from that rear foot coming up at a diagonal. And that's just my own preference. Of course, you could punch down low like this if you like. It's another way to do it. Just uh, my own personal preference. So the last one, the 13th fist strike, is shoot tiger with bow. And that comes at the end. After four, seven stars, ride the horse, turn around, another crescent kick, like that. So again, that uh, power for that strike is from more like a kinetic chain where you're using the twist of your waist for the power of the punch. Again, the power of the punch should end up going forward. That was presented in another video on the function of shoot tiger with bow. You can find that video in my one thing list. Okay, so I was going to look at the, some of the fist strikes in the Guanting Tai Chi form and uh, something for us to think about. Thank you.